Uh, welcome, Christian. You came from Romania to show us how are all things happening in ICT industry. So please tell us about your experience for past uh, 20 years, because we have heard that you made some good things there for ICT industry. So please tell us something about that. Thank you for inviting that, for inviting me here. Um, Romania has an experience of uh, almost 20 years now in the IT field. It started in early 2000s, where uh, there were merely 13,000 employees, working most of them in uh, state-owned companies. Uh, at that point, the uh, Romanian government decided that this is an important uh, sector of economy, the IT, and they started to provide incentives for the companies and for the individuals in this sector to increase the number of employees, to increase the added value of this sector to the economy. So what is happening after that years? I mean, all this happening in the, the market? The market started to increase. The number of employees started to increase. The number of companies started to increase. And, of course, the turnover of these companies. For example, if in early 2000 there were only 13,000 employees, Nowadays, we can speak of more than 100,000 employees. This is almost 10 times more in 20 years. You think that this is according to these incentives that government made, so for sure this is the effect of, of that? The, uh, the incentives have a very important role. Mm -hmm. What about the GDP in the IC industry? The GDP in industry is now currently at 6%. But all the estimates say that in the next couple of years it will it will be 10% of GDP, meaning uh, almost 10 billion euros. Mm -hmm. And what about uh, the, in comparison with the past? So how is it increased uh, today? It is uh, from... almost uh, three times higher. The, in... the the percentage of the IT industry in the total GDP. In these 18 years, let's say. Yes. Something in, like in, that. in all this period. So. The crucial point is how did Romania came here? I mean, what what is the, the, the reason? Uh, what is the reason why they came here? We can speak about two uh, two pillars of this uh, transformation of the economy. We're speaking about the education and the taxation. The taxation meaning incentives given to these companies and individuals. Education uh, played a very important role. It is not possible to stimulate a sector of economy just by giving tax incentives. You need also education, you need people actually. You need to, to, grow, people. You need to grow people to, to work in this industry. Now in Romania there are more than 200 um, educational institutions. I mean universities, high school. For uh, technical stuff. Yes, we discussed for technical stuff. And all these universities are providing more than 7,000 tech graduates annually. All of them, I mean, most of them are working directly in IT industry since their first year of uh, education. F from the first year when they are becoming students, they are they are already somehow involved in the IT industry by internship, by grants that they receive from companies, by various uh, university programs of uh, ex student exchange between Romania and other countries, for example, with uh, Erasmus program or other programs uh, for sim or other similar programs. This is important because the IT companies, a lot of them, are uh, working very uh, close with the local universities. So maybe this is the way how they create the, the workforce. I mean, how are they planning the demand for the for the ICT professionals? This collaboration is a crucial one. Other, uh, you know very well that uh, universities are not very linked all the time with the labor market. Sometimes the universities are providing uh, students with are not directly re directly related to the labor market, their qualification. Therefore, the IT companies decided that uh, they should run sponsorship programs for the universities to uh, present them exactly what they need so that universities can provide them with students, pre with prepared students, students on that uh, specialization. Yes, and in this process of planning the, the workforce, I mean, the specific uh, uh, 
education skills, etc., is somehow connected with the with the economy, which means that the companies are the ones that are supporting this with some donations and something like that. Uh, yes, the universities are providing uh, donations to universities. They are providing uh, amounts of money or technical means. And if for us, it's very uh, interesting. How is it taxed? I mean, what is the 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 way of taxation are they recognized cost uh, they are not or something because in Macedonia these are not recognized as a full there are some amounts that are recognized as a cost but mm -hmm. not as a full what is the, the case in Romania? In Romania uh, all these costs like donations for example for universities are a fully recognized expense because they are considered as expenses on the course of the business they are expenses for the the future development so of there the is business. no limit so there is no limit and there is is there some procedure that you have to uh, fulfill in order to gain this or it is just like that it is just like that you just have to have a written contract with the university a collaboration contract and because in Macedonia it has to be enough. proved that it's from public interest etc etc is still up to some limit to be recognized as a cost for us, it's more simple. We just need a written contract or a collaboration contract, and that's it. Uh, what about the other tax incentives that are in the ideas? Um, I want to mention that uh, all these uh, sponsorship are deductible from the profit tax up to a certain percent. I mean, it is like 20% on the actual profit tax that you pay. You can deduct this uh, sponsorship. Mm -hmm. So from the actual profit tax that you have to pay, you can deduct the sponsorship cost. Uh -huh, that you have paid that you already. Have paid. Exactly. Okay. Uh, what about other taxation of the companies in ICT, I mean incentives? Uh, the individuals working in uh, IT sector are exempt of income tax. They are totally exempt. Mm -hmm. uh, there are uh, various stated schemes, schemes for the companies. Uh, the individuals that are working in R&D departments are fully exempt of uh, income tax. Also, the companies which are working in the R&D de uh, and development area are exempted of profit tax for the first 10 years of activity. Uh, so, no, no personal income tax, no profit tax? No profit tax, no personal income tax. They have uh, their salaries... Uh, the employees are paying their social contribution for so this. So this is yes, something uh, like 10 plus 16 percent, 26 percent approximately. Yes, 26. ICT industry is less taxed than the other, the exactly. other industries. Exactly. Uh, now, brain, brain drain phenomenon. This is what Sedonia is struggling. So, what is the case in, in, in Romania? A study from the Bucharest Technical University uh, shows that uh, in 1999. There were about 250 graduates, and from these graduates, only five chose to stay in Romania. This number was similar in 2000, where only seven remained, and in 2001, only 11 remained, out of the total number of graduates in Bucharest University. It was a very alarming situation for the local government, and they decided to give these uh, tax incentives for the individuals and also for the companies in the IT sector. So this is how they fight with this great rate. Yes, yes. And exactly. their results, you can say that their results. Yes, yeah. a, a large part of this, uh, uh, the biggest part of these uh, incentives are uh, the, stoppage, the stoppage of this brain drain phenomenon. Uh, can you please tell some examples about investors that are using these incentives and nowadays they're, let's say, having more and more employees in ICT industry? Success story. Please tell us some of course. Um, I would like first to mention a company which is based in uh, my city, in Timisoara. The company name is uh, Nokia. They have arrived in Timisoara in 2012. We, and they started a small R&D center and then a small operation center for the global networks. They have around 100 employees at that point. In this moment, we are in six years later, they have, uh, they have more than 1,500 employees. And all of them are working in R&D and this global operation network centers. Yes, as you mentioned, because not only ICT, also R&D yes, is, is, is also, it's uh, also a beneficiary of these incentives. Yes, and tax exempt. 
also uh, some kind of other uh, uh, workforce is uh, tax exempt or it is planned to be tax exempt, for example, medical staff or something like that. And how is it going uh, on, on that field? <coughs> Uh, the medical staff in this moment in Romania is planned to be also included in this tax exemption list as of uh, 2019. But uh, because of this, uh, of the, because of this uh, brain drain phenomenon that is that is affecting also the medical yes, sector. Yes, in Macedonia also medical staff. Uh, the Romanian government decided to increase very step uh, the salaries for the uh, public sector for the medical and staff that are working in public sector, they decided to make the salaries almost triple overnight, just to stop this uh, brain drain phenomenon. And result after how many years is... Uh, that, that, uh, that decision was uh, last year, and in this moment the brain drain phenomenon is almost stopped, nobody is leaving from the state hospitals, but uh, the most interesting part is that the doctors that have left Romania are now returning because of these uh, very stimulating salaries. Also, they are um, receiving better working condition because the state hospitals invest now in uh, state-of-the-art equipments. They have latest technologies available. They have, for example, um, surgical robots that are available now. And uh, medical staff just uh, like this, uh, so this, this facility. Yes, motivating to come back yes. to Romania yes. and continue. Uh, thank you very much for this uh, story. I think that we should learn a lot from that. Thank you. I hope you, you will do.